It's uh, yeah, man. And you know what? Even me, um, two years into this red pill, I, I still fall, bro. This is some. This is like fitness. And I want you to tell. I want you to explain to the guys that this isn't something that you do one time. It's like you don't get in shape one time and it stays forever. You constantly have to work on this. Right. Constantly work, even if you get into a, a like a decent relationship and you and you're feeling the girl and it's good vibes. You still have to have that in the back of your mind. It's like when you have a job, they can treat you really good at work, but always have that in the back of your mind that just like that you can get fired. Yeah, you're only good as your last month. Right. And it's like that with relationships. And I want you to elaborate on this constant daily battle on, 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 on how to keep yourself on check. Because there's a lot of, you know, shiny, tiny objects out there mm -hmm. that makes guys throw all their game out the window, all their beliefs out the window. We're like that. And sometimes our, you know, our Johnson just, just, just like thinks for ourselves, takes over. Yeah. So, yeah, I want you to elaborate on that a little bit. Some, yeah, you definitely got to catch yourself because, see, me, this is why I don't do relationships because I feel like you have more obligations because you agreed to get in a relationship with that woman. So you kind of agree to take on a little more responsibility. But mm -hmm. it's on a day-by-day -day basis. Just because she's feeling you one way that day doesn't mean it's going to be the same the next. Hell, it doesn't even mean the same when the night is over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And again, this comes down to the whole online dating aspect, social media, which is pretty much like online dating because guys still hit her up there just as much. Yeah. So people think, oh, my woman will go online dating. She says social media, don't she? So mm -hmm. a lot of people, you know, they neglect to, to think about that. I mean, it's still the same concept. It's just they're not putting it out there. It's for dating. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Well, they're saying uh, Instagram is the, is the biggest dating app in the world. Yeah, might as well be. Might yeah. as well. I get women that hit me up on Instagram also, believe it or not. You know, some of them just want advice. Some of them are actually interested in linking up. So, yeah, it, it still happens. But, I mean, even despite knowing how I am, it's crazy. You would think I'd be the last person they want to get caught up with, but it, it, they still do it. But Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, man, like, let's keep it real. 80% or even 90% at this point of guys out there, they're very content with life and they accept, uh, you know, they call their woman their better half. That thing pisses me off, bro. Oh, like, yeah. I'm talking to somebody and it's like, yes, yeah, so I was with my better half. And I'm like, bro, I just lost all my respect for you, bro. There's no, you know, I'm not against relationships, but I am pro vetting, taking your fucking time. Bro. This is, this is like your livelihood, you know? And, um, yeah, so I, I, I'll say six months you vet, you know, you, you check things out. You'd be very careful if you want to jump into it. Some red pill people, they'd rather not, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, do you, is there any books that you read? Any Anyone that you listen to? Um, there were some books I read from the beginning, like The Rational Male. I'm sure we're all aware of that. The series yeah. is three of them. I read um, Alpha Male Strategies book. Um, I read uh, Atomic Attraction, which is the guy's a dating coach. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris Canwell. Corey Wayne, I read his book. Um, what else I've read? But yeah, those are basically those the type of manosphere like books that I've read, and it was very informative. And in my honest opinion, the best book out of all of them was Atomic Attraction because it is based on a lot of scientific articles and psychological research. I, I shared it on one of my posts about a week ago, and a lot of people checked it out. And they uh, they actually liked it and agreed with my viewpoint because it is. I mean, because a lot of people, you see me. I'm the type where I don't like to rely on scientific research. I would like to rely on my experience first yeah. and foremost. But there are people out there that they're not going to listen to you unless you got some people with PhDs, you know, who've been in it for like 10 to 15 years say so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, so when I do post studies, it's to appease them. Otherwise, they're not going to listen. But 